All right, gentlemen, let's get started. Uh, let's see, is the mic working? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is uh, the norms. Have Randy and Tyshawn. So first on the list is you, Randy. I need you to read the norms for us. The five basic norms. No one has the right to hurt another person. Education and the classroom are sacred. We will never behave in a way that will discredit ourselves or school or our family. In Excel Academy Southwest, we always ask for integrity. We take pride in Excel Academy Southwest. Uh, read, read the rest, Randy. The five academic norms. We respect the opinions of others. We respect the culture of the classroom. We are attentive and participate. We have high expectations of ourselves, our peers, and our teachers. We are here to focus on preparing ourselves for post-secondary endeavors. All right. Thank you, Randy. All right. So today uh, was an interesting townhouse in GGI. Uh, really really uh, encourage everybody to go to GGI and townhouse because that's where you get uh, five to ten points towards previous course. Some students take, have taken advantage of it already. This uh, time frame where we have these discussions, which is really mandatory, is between hours of 11.15 to 11.45. It's about 30 minutes. So try to attend. Uh, it helps your score and it also helps you learn things and resources they may have for you. So uh, tune in at that time if you need the link. It's in NTB, and it's also uh, can be, it also can be provided by uh, any of the staff. These Raspberry Pi kits uh, they are still available. You need to have one to be successful in all the classes in the upcoming future. It's going to come a point where you can't do too much without your kit. So if you haven't scheduled to come in and get your kit, make sure you contact the school. We have to have only so many in the building. And alternatively, if your kit is damaged for some reason, it's not functional. I'm in the building on Thursdays and Fridays. Um, if you bring the, the kit in that's damaged, all the parts, uh, should be able to get you a replacement, okay? Where's my mouse at? There it goes. Okay, uh, Carson, can you read this screen? And this is actually tonight. Every Wednesday and Thursday, learn the code from the convenience of your home and get extra credit for some of your classes. The pandemic's effect on, on the coding job market. I learned the code, the surprisingly broad benefits of coding. Interested, join by clicking the link FOPM. That's code. Awesome, awesome. That's actually that's tomorrow, my bad. Okay, so go ahead, uh, Randy. Daily tasks, students will be able to complete the evaluation in Edby. Hello, our inspiring STEM students, welcome to class. Inside of Edby, you can access all pre-recorded videos of each class. These videos are normally ready to review by 4 p.m. daily. All right, very good. Uh, Mr. Carson, you're next. I explore computer science, the MIT Scratch, and Microsoft make code, make code projects are required daily. Most projects are possible to complete on the cell phone. However, frankly, will be limited. An actual personal computer is required to take full advantage of the course. Computer science is a graduation requirement for the state of Illinois via the Board of Education. For questions or concerns, email me at michaeltylersassyschool.com or reach out to me via SB Messenger. Okay, Randy, your turn. Today's objectives, students will be able to achieve certification of keys to your future lesson two. Preparing in high school via the EverFi online courseware, classroom term of the day, time management, where the day is idiosyncratic. Idio, idiosyncratic. Try it out. Oh, idiosyncratic. There you go. All right. So let's continue on. Uh, you both should be logged into SB and also your EverFi software. So give me a moment, put everything in a chat that's already in ESV. You'll see there's a new assignment posted. You should be logged into your ESV course for third period. And the name of the class is Computer Science for All. Now there is an exit slip, like it usually is every day. 
I'll share out the document that you used yesterday and you just have to fill it out the same way. Name, date, class, period, and name. Um, and then what is the objective? What is the classroom um, classroom term of the day and what is the word of the day? So let's go through it. So this is the assignment in ESB, if you look for it. So in the participation, so it scored a little bit higher if you get it done correctly. You need at least 80% to move on to the next lesson. Now, that's yesterday. We started on lesson one. We're in lesson two now, and it's all about high school, preparing in high school. So let's grab this. I got to do it in parts, right? That's the first portion and the next portion. All right. Hey, Mr. Carson, can you read what's in the chat from hello all the way down to Zen for 40 points? Hello, and good morning to all computer science and intro to. Robotic students, we will begin utilizing the Amplify keys to your future online software. Please follow the instructions below. Your course, your coursework is labeled as CompSci and Intro to Engineering Quarter 4 via this Amplify website. And if you do not have an account already, you will need to register as a new student to gain access. Website for Amplify to log in and begin completing the coursework online is Registration code for all courses is take your time and pay attention to the instructions of each, mo each module in order to be successful with obtaining at least 80% or higher of the overall score towards full certification for this course. If your score is less than 80%, you will be required to, to retake the module until the appropriate score is achieved. Take care of their exam. Awesome. So everybody should be, uh, hello, Ms. Cherry. So everybody should click on the Everify link in the chat. And then uh, what it looked like is this here, but this is the teacher view. So this is the Everify site. But And yesterday we started on it. So I think everybody in here should have an account. So let me do a quick check. Um, so we got Cherry, Carson, and Vigaris, Randy. All right. Uh, we're in Keys to the Future, everybody. We're going to lesson two today. We started on lesson one yesterday. So I'm looking at uh, Miss Cherry. She got 100%. Great job, Ashanta. You finished it. Um, you need to start focusing on part two today, okay? Are you there? Yeah, I heard you. Okay, I didn't know if you did. All right. Um, let's go to Carson. Um, let's go, go down. Where is Mr. Carson? Tyshawn. Okay, so Carson, did you not uh, start this one either? Which one? This is uh, Keys to Your Future. You said which one? Keys to Your Future. This is for a uh, third period. Uh, um, so you didn't start on this yet? Well, I started on, on the Everfine thing last quarter. Yes. No, I'm talking about this quarter. I mean, uh, last period. That's when I just started on it. Right. Okay. So you didn't do this one either. So I want you to real quickly, you see that registration code in the chat? You got to put that in there so you can get caught up. Because we're starting lesson two. Lesson one was yesterday. So try to add that registration code. One of the keys to your future. Let's see what you already know. Cherry, can you mute yourself? <laughs> She's going through it. Okay. So um, do that right now, Carson. Um, add that registration code to your class listing and go to Keys to Your Future. It's probably going to make you do a survey. Try to get that done now. We're going to be going through Lesson 2. You might want to go back when you get a chance and finish Lesson 1 because that was yesterday. <laughs> Excuse me. So let me uh, start the course where – oh, I didn't check Randy's, right? And Randy is okay. Randy, did you start on lesson one yesterday? Because these are your scores from last quarter. Yes. 
Okay, so you I'm did. Almost it. Done. Okay, we are going to start on lesson two, so don't spend too much time on it, Randy. You might have to go back and finish it up later, but we're doing lesson two today and be asking you guys questions from it. So look, you got to get all these parts done because see, Randy in the past has gotten certified, and I owe him a certificate that he could use with his resume. But this is what your 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 goal is. You're supposed to be getting all modules, at least eighty percent or more, and it turns green. And then I can let you move on. Uh, and then after you finish all of them, I think it's six sections here, you uh, get what is called a certification, meaning you're certified in this material. All right, and then we can move on to the next course. The goal is to have this all finished by Friday, all of these sections. Friday, there will be two sections due. So it behooves you to get this done before Friday so you're not trying to do everything tomorrow or Thursday or Friday, you know? Try to get a head start. So if everybody's paying attention with me, you, you need Excuse to Excuse me, Mr. Tyler. Go ahead. Um, Thursday, I won't be able to be attending class because I'm going to be getting on the plane to come back to Chicago, so I won't be able to be on class. Okay. Um, thank you for letting me know. What about Friday, though? Yeah. Okay. All right. Because I know you guys got to be in the building. The days you be in the building, then the days offline, you got to be online. But yeah. But thanks for letting me know. I'll try to tell the staff about that. Um, try to still finish up as much as you can, though, Ashan. As far as this work, you're doing good, though. But just keep trying to get everything done, uh, all the way up until that sixth course. Now. Let me uh, change the screen a little bit because we got to go to the courses and I have to share it out differently. So everybody, we're in lesson two of this course. The name of the course, again, is Keys to Your Future. So you got to go in it. So most of you have already done the survey parts. You should be able to jump right back in. I'm waiting for the screen to change. And I need to change this screen because we're going to present it differently. Okay, and then I'm going to do this uh, tab. All right, let's see if that works. All right, yep, that's what I wanted. Let's go through it. And we're Mr. on. Mr. Taylor, can you check on my score now, please? Uh, I, let me finish this and I'll check on your score. But start on lesson two, okay? Um, let's see here, lesson two. As soon as I'm done, I'll Figuring check. Figuring out your future can be confusing, especially while you're still in high school. Focusing on short-term goals, like graduating from high school with strong academic skills, will help you reach any long-term goal you may set in the future. Before you learn about one of the keys to your future, let's see what you already know. Uh, the pre-assessment questions that you all should be starting on, um, let's go through and see how much you know. So to get points and for each person that participates when I call on you, you have to read the question prompt all of the answers and then select the best answer you think it is okay so let me uh, go down the list make sure i got this going miss cherry do you see my screen because you're first in the list yeah all right can you read when you blank you have all the materials you need to complete a test set goals manage your time art organized study i think it's study so you think it's study all right now everybody else that participates with five points so carson do you think she's right randy do you think she's right or you have a different answer no i don't think she's right okay what about you randy um what did she choose again study oh i think it's um when you she says, what do you no, say? No, I think it's when you set goals, you have all the materials needed to complete a task. Okay. All right. We're going to go study, but keep that in mind because we go through, it'll tell you what, it's, what it is. All right. Next is going to be, of course, Randy. I need you to read the question and add all the answers and then select one. How can goal setting help with academic performance? 
It helps you focus on what needs to be done and why. It is an effective study skill. Writing goals down makes them happen. They help you understand content better. I think it helps you focus on what needs to be done and why. Okay, so uh, Randy chose number one. What about you, Miss Cherry and uh, Mr. I think you are. Okay, Carson. I agree. Okay, let's move on. Of course, Carson, you're next in the list. I need you to read the question, the answers, and then select one you think is correct. Which is the best example of someone going to a network while in high school, setting goals and telling your friends you have them, planning time to meet with with friends to go to a sporting event, having having regular check-ins with teachers and counselors to discuss goals, sharing grades with friends and family. Uh, I think it the third one. Okay. Uh, what about you, Cherry and Randy? The key way. Okay, Randy. It's about having the skills you need to be ready for whatever is next. What You're more likely to reach a goal, such as graduating high school, when the goal is clear. I think it's um, having regular check-ins with teachers and counselors to discuss goals. That's the one he chose. Okay. So everybody got their participation points. We got two more to go. We're back at the top with Miss Cherry. You read the question, answers, and then select one. Prioritization is an example of a skill that helps you reach long-term goals because it helps organize classroom materials. It allows you to have fun and relax, relaxation, which is important to success. It focuses on the most important tags first, which leads to accomplishing long-term goals. It is a study technique that helps with memorization. I think it's, um, hold on, wait, one sec. I think it's the third one. Okay, and Carson and Randy, what are your thoughts? I agree. Uh, Thanks, girls, um, time. How do you think she did? Give Ksenia a grade for how well she performed on each skill at the start of the I year. I think it is three. At the end of the year. Okay, the last one is going to be, last question is on Randy. She gotta read the question, answers, and select. Which is an example of an effective study skill. Rereading the chapter in a textbook, getting to bed early, reading over notes, making note cards and quizzing yourself. I think it's number four, making note cards and quizzing yourself. Okay, uh, Cherry and Carson, what do you think? It's a hard one. I really think it's all of them, but the last one is. <laughs> It's okay. That's a good response. What about you, Carson? Um, yeah. I, I, so you think it's four or something else? Oh, okay. How do you get from where you are now to where you want to go? One of the keys to long-term success is developing strong academic skills. Scroll or use the right arrow on your keypad to move forward toward the goal. Being successful in a career starts with graduating from high school. Graduating is about more than a diploma. It's about having the skills you need to be ready for whatever is next. You're more likely to reach a goal, such as graduating high school, when the goal is clear. This means it should be specific, measurable, and attainable. You should know why the goal matters and give yourself time to reach it. Having clear goals will help you to reach them. Because when goals are clearly defined, you'll have a better idea of the steps you need to take to get there.
To improve your GPA, study skills are important. So is being organized. Being able to prioritize tasks. And being able to manage your time. Developing strong academic skills aren't just important for high school. They are a key to your future. Meet Ksenia. Ksenia is graduating high school this year with top honors. She has multiple college acceptance letters to choose from and has won $12,000 in scholarships from three local businesses. Take a look back to see how she did it. Getting the second highest GPA in her class to become salutatorian wasn't easy for Ksenia. She was diagnosed with ADHD in second grade, so focusing on classwork was always a challenge. A good GPA made it possible for Ksenia to get accepted to college. She didn't get accepted to her first choice, but did get accepted to her second choice school. And she even earned a swim scholarship. Ksenia graduated with a great GPA, but her grades weren't always that good. Take a look back to sophomore year by clicking on her academic planner and her phone to learn what she did. Click on each button to learn more about what Ksenia did each month. Because Ksenia wasn't organized, she couldn't find her goggles. She showed up late, and Coach Riley made her sit out. Without the practice, she won't do well in the meet. Ksenia's teacher asked the class to do a goal planning assignment, but she didn't complete it. She prioritized gaming and social activities over schoolwork and other responsibilities. Without said, Ksenia waited until the morning to do math homework. She thought it would take 15 minutes, but it took longer. She turned it in late and with lots of mistakes. Because of poor time management and organization skills, she stayed up late playing games instead of studying for her quiz. She didn't pass. She worked on her essay, but didn't keep track of it in her binder. A lack of organization is going to hurt her. She needs to have a plan so she knows what to prioritize and how to manage her time. Ksenia didn't pass her math midterm and missed an important assignment. If she had prioritized the study session last week and managed her time by choosing to skip the movie to get enough study time, she might have passed. If she fails another test, she'll be grounded. After missing an important report, Ms. Barr asked Ksenia to see her and make a plan. Ksenia was worried, but it wasn't that bad. She helped her set a goal to get her grades up and stay on the swim team. Ksenia ended the month doing well in her history midterm. Going to a study session helped her prepare. And instead of being grounded for failing, she was able to go to Dave's party. The year is starting well. By prioritizing study sessions every week and keeping her goals in mind, she's focusing on the right things, even if it means missing game night with her friend. She's meeting with Miss Barr every month to check in on her goals. Having others know your goals helps you to reach them. It forces her to think about her goals and make a plan to reach them. Miss Barr gives her advice and supports her to be successful. With Graham's help, Ksenia got organized. Graham helped her collect all assignments and notes, divide the binder into sections, and find a place for everything. Keeping everything organized in the future will be easier now that she has a system set up. Down and let you work on it, because I can go through it with you, but you really need to go through her phone and see how she changed, because we just went through her, her planner. It's a big old calendar that she usually put on your desk. I've used it. 
Um, I have a small day planner. Uh, I even use Google Calendar to help me stay organized. These are very important things for all of you to learn um, right here, right now in high school. So you go into the real world, you, you can stay on top of your life. Because if you don't manage your time, you lose your time. And that's when things get frustrating, right? We don't want to be procrastinators. We want to be people who take care of it in advance. Now, um, I'm going to come out of this. Everybody should be logged into the software. I just want to do a quick check. Let's take a look here. Keys to the future. Okay, so I'm trying to find out if Mr. Carson got, he did get added, good. So you should be working on lesson two with us. You're gonna go back and fix one. And again, Ms. Cherry took care of one. She'll be working on two. Randy, you should be starting on, let's see Randy. Oh, Randy took care of two. Wow, that was easy, huh, Randy? You got an 80 FS. Um, so go to lesson three, Randy. You can knock a lot of this out because you got high scores in the past from these things. Um, so keep up the good work, Randy. Uh, let's go over the objective one last time. Let's give you some time to work on it. I didn't hear what you said. No, I said you're just working on lesson two. You just got to finish that up. Okay. Okay. Um, let's come here. And I'm going to share this tab. Okay. So let's get some points on the board for uh, Ms. Cherry. Can you see the screen in front of us? should see uh, my presentation up. Do you see it? Students would be able to achieve. So, hold on, wait, it went black. Oh, I know. It's trying to make it bigger for you. Give me a second. There you go. Students would be able to certify. Students would be able to achieve certification of uh, key to your future lesson two preparing in high school via the Everfi online cor courseware. Classroom term of the day is time management. Word of the day is, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Idiosyncratic. Idiosyncratic. There you go. All right, so I'm going to leave this up, but more importantly, don't forget about your exit slip, everybody. So let me uh, get that for you. And I'm going to put this in the chat. This is your exit slip portion. Let me grab this. And all you do is answer the exit slip using what Ms. Cherry and other students have read from the objective section. So it looks like this, right? Let me go ahead and grab it for you guys again. And you got to download it first, then type into it. Now, you do have to turn this part into Edsby as a document, PDF document, hopefully. Um, I'm going to change how this is set up. Okay, put that there. All right, so I'll give you about at max, let's see, we can do 14 minutes of you trying so to get. To turn in, we're supposed to turn the exit slip in in today's lesson? Yeah, but the rest of the work you do at Everfy. Okay. So let me put this up on the screen again the objective and everything that you need for the exit slip. Let me stop sharing. Uh, get back the resources. Okay, and then do this. And that. It's the start of the week. Okay. And come over here. Boom. Okay, from current slide. Okay. I'll leave that up and running for you all. And you got a couple of minutes to finish it. So like I said, let's start with about let's do 13 minutes. All right. Try to get as much done as possible, but don't forget to take care of the exit slip. I put the template that you can use to do your exit slip in the chat. Just click on that link. You have to download it because you can't type into it until you download it and make it your own. Fill out your name, full name, date, uh, name of the class. You already know it's computer science, and it's third period. 
Okay. And just fill out the questions. Uh, the definitions you have to look up in uh, Google. So Google what time management is. Type that in. That's your classroom term today. And idiosyncratic. What does it mean? Google it. All right. Mr. Tyler, can you put the stuff back in the chat? Yes, man. You talking about the exit slip? Yeah. Okay. And you're in Evify already or no? Yes. yes. Okay. All right. There you go. Okay. So um, try to finish as much as you can, everybody.
Okay, let's review the objective. Uh, let's see here. Randy, can you read the objective on the screen? Randy, are you there? Okay, let me go to uh, Mr. Carson. Uh, can you read the objective and the words up there? Oh, everybody stepped away. Uh oh, Tyshawn, are you with us? Do you want me to reread it? Go ahead, Shanta. I was trying to give him a chance. The students will be able to achieve certification of your Future Lesson to preparing high school via the Aeropa Online courseware. Courseware. The classroom time of the day is time management. Word of the day is autonomistic. Idiosyncratic. Give it a try, Shanta. Idiosyncratic. There you go. All right. Um, so let's take a look at the scores. Those are coming close to the end of class. Um, see how everybody did. That's not it. This is it. Okay. So if I refresh, should be able to see everything should update. Okay. Keys to the future. And uh, Cherry. Okay. So Shanti, you're still working on lesson two, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Can you go in? Uh, let's see. Carson. Mr. Carson, are you there? Uh, doesn't seem like you started. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, how much did you get done? Like, where are you at with this? It's showing that you, you're you not through yet. Are you starting a lesson two or one? I'm on number one, I believe. Okay, all right, we'll try to get some of this stuff done. Lesson two is due tonight, lesson one was due yesterday. Uh, Randy, I think he's ahead. They gotta find Randy's name. Oh my goodness, Randy really put some work in. You only got two more sections, huh, Randy? Are you there? He's knocking his stuff out. Okay, so uh, it is 114. Everybody knows what they got to do. Did everybody tackle the exit slip? Like uh, Shanta. Um... I turned it in already. Oh, so you filled out everything and turned it in. Okay, cool. What about you, Carson? Did you remember to get that link so you can do it? It's in the chat for the exit slip. Remember, you all have to put the definitions in there, too. So I hope you did that. Carson, you hear me or no? I see a ceiling fan. That's all I see. Okay, I don't know. Well, look, before we leave, before you leave, you might want to grab that exit slip uh, template. Uh, click on the link. Download it so you can use it. And fill it out. The information for filling it out is in the Bitmoji classroom underneath the computer science class. So you gotta fill out the objective, word of the day, what is definition, and classroom term of the day, what is definition. These definitions can be re referenced online via Google. You just look it up and you put the definition in there, right? Don't forget to fill out the other basic stuff like your full name, date, class name, which is computer science, right? And third period. Turn it into SV by 8 p.m. Uh, try to finish the software by 8 p.m. and you should be straight. Are there any questions for me? Because it's 115 and I want to give you guys time for fourth period. Going once. Any questions for Mr. Tyler? No, but um, will you be able to get in touch with Ms. Frank? What's what's going on, Ms. Frank? Because they got my um my two last classes is um need to be switched back because I got her first and then um Mr. Ortiz, but they got Mr. Ortiz first and then Mr. Frank. Okay, so the okay, so I need you do you know how to use SV to reach out to Ortiz? Because he's the one that changes that. Not not Miss Frank or myself. Okay. So you know how to reach him on SV or no? Yeah. Okay. So send him a message and he'll get back to you. He's pretty good about it. And he's actually the one that changes the schedule. So you guys have that discussion. But if there's no more questions, you guys are free to get ready to uh, get prepared for your fourth period class. Uh, turn everything in, please, and I'll see you all tomorrow.
Have a good day, Mr. Tanner. You too, Randy. Keep up the good work. Okay, Santa, you got a question or no? Because I'm about to close the room up in a moment. No, my bad. Okay, get to your next class.